Hi, so today I'm going to show you a skin grafting handle which is the most basic instrument for a plastic surgeon. It's as basic like a scalpel is for a general surgeon. So this is a skin grafting handle which is used everywhere commonly. This is called a Watson's modification of a Humby's knife. It's not the original Humby's knife as people might think. The original Humby's knife consisted of a rectangular frame on either side which would help to hold the skin in one place and then the graft would be harvested. The rectangular frames have been discarded from the new model and after that there was a breath wind modification in which this limb used to be a rolling limb and it would used to roll all along while you were harvesting a graft. But then came in Watson's modification of a Humby's knife wherein this limb has been converted into a static limb. So it's better in eliminating the drag while taking a graft and it gives better stability. So this is the way we hold a skin grafting handle. These are the openings from where we have to open this flap and this is how we introduce the blade. Now the technique of introducing the blade might be confusing if you do it for the first time but this is how you have to hold the blade. You can see the sharp edge at this side. Hold the handle in one hand and you have to flip open this flap and the blade you are not supposed to insert it from the top. It has to go from below. So this is the sharp edge which will harvest the graft so it has to be facing outside. You have to go from below and then you have to make sure that it inserts and sits nicely into those three holes and you have to close the flap over it and then you have to lock it. The locking has to be done by pushing it upward and it will get locked. Thereafter you have to see the adjustment. For the adjustment there are two limbs on either side which have to be opened. This is for tightening and closing it. Once you have adjusted the width which is usually you should be just able to see a sliver of light passing through it or you should be able to pass an 11 blade through it. After adjusting it you are supposed to tighten it and fix it. At the other end you have these markings which are usually important from your practical point of view. They consist of 1 mm each. We usually keep it at a distance of 3 mm to 5 mm. So once you are ready to go and you have a smooth surface you are supposed to keep it at an angle of 45 degree and start with only gentle to and fro movements and that the other hand also has to move along with it to eliminate any sort of unevenness. Once you have taken your graft you just elevate the blade Along with that you can cut the graft or you can cut it separately with a scissor. That's all about the graft handle. Happy grafting!